the one thing I'm noticing is everything does not look pitch black anymore. I'm actually able to see a little better, which is rather nice. Uh, the illumination of everything down below looks rather nice as well. I don't know that that looks that much different than what it did. But things look definitely better at night than what it did. I can actually see things better. Like I said, everything else was just black before, practically. Yeah, you couldn't even see the plane before. And surprisingly, the shadows seem to be working at night, too. Look as I'm turning. Kind of cool. And this is one of the instant action missions that come with the Dora. This is the free flight at night over the default map. Yeah, and being a nighttime mission with all the options I have turned up, I'm sitting at around 72 FPS. I am running with V-Sync, but my refresh rate, I believe, is 144. Yeah, it's awfully strange it's hovering at that 72 to 70 FPS, 72, 73, 70. Still not a terrible thing. Alrighty, let's take a look at this water now and see what we got. I think in the MI-8 before, I had really the best look at the water. Because of this big picture window that you have. And I thought the water looked really nice to begin with, and didn't have a problem with it. And uh, it still looks really nice. I don't understand what they did, because to me, it looks just as good as it always did when you have it on high. Although, maybe I am seeing a little bit better reflections on it, more consistently now. Maybe that's it. And they said it's supposed to have more transparency. I do see more reflections. I'll give them that. Especially if you look off to my right in that little lagoon area over there. That looks rather cool with the reflections going on. But the water always looked good to me to begin with. So does it look better? It may. It may be more reflection-y, if, if that's a description. <laughs> It kind of looks more reflective, I guess, to me. Look up ahead, you see more reflections of those trees in the water, and I, and I see the, the waves being produced a little bit more. Uh, maybe they cleaned up the edges where the water meets the uh, sand or the coastline there. But again, to me, the water always looked good. And in VR, I just turned it down because of the extra taxing that it would do, you know? I just put it on medium or something. But yeah, I, I guess I do see that I see more white reflections in the waves popping up and how it's moving around a little bit. Has that almost, you know, lightning look to it. How the just random swishing. Again, it looked nice before. I never thought it looked bad. It looks nicer now, I suppose. But I think the nighttime lighting, to me, is more of an impact than the water effects that they've done. Yeah, look at the reflections up ahead in that water. Like, that is really cool. Yeah, it definitely looks better right there. Here is another example of nighttime. This is a nighttime landing mission in the Mirage. And uh, 
I don't remember it looking this good. I remember any time I've picked a mission that was nighttime as you were lucky to really even see the lights down here. So, yeah, for the most part, it is pitch black still. But in one of the missions I flew earlier that was a nighttime mission, it looked way better. And uh, I've tried this one before, too, and I don't remember it looking this good. So, this is definitely a marked improvement, but once you get outside of this city area, it's still pretty damn dark, but... Yeah, I think this is a more capable environment to try to perform a landing in. Because I bet I can actually see the damn runway now. But off in a distance, you know, it's pretty dark out there otherwise. Yeah, there's a runway. I could definitely see that much better. I think the nighttime environment is definitely better now. Still got a long way to go, I think, to be useful. Or more useful, I guess. 